I recently recorded a video here for the channel showing you how to sideload the APK for the F-Droid repository application that you see here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a custom repository to this app. So if you missed the first video and are confused about what F-Droid is, then I definitely recommend you checking it out first. I'll be including a link to that video in the description below. So when you first install the F-Droid application, it's only going to have the default repositories included. You can see that when you first open up the app or when you update, it's going to pull from those repositories and give you a list of apps that it can download using the repositories you have. Now you can find these repositories in the settings. So we just tap on settings and then tap repositories. And this is going to give us a list of the repositories that not only that we have installed, but that we have also enabled. So you can see by default, we have four different repositories installed, but only one of them is enabled. So if you want access to these other applications from the F-Droid app, then you would want to enable these repositories using the toggle. So you can think of a repository as a source for the apps. And you should know that we can add different repositories to the F-Droid app that will give us access to different applications. So I'm going to be using the Omega Launcher application as an example. In yesterday's video, I showed you what the Omega Launcher was, how to download it from GitHub and install it. But as you can see here, the developer also offers a F-Droid repo. So if you see that a developer you're familiar with has an F-Droid repo, then we can, it's usually in the form of a link. We're gonna copy that whole link to our clipboard, open up F-Droid, tap on the plus icon within the repositories section. And it should go ahead and paste the contents of your clipboard in the repository address. If it does not, then you can go ahead and paste or type out the repo URL there. And then let's go ahead and tap add. Now, once that is added, you should see it in the list. It should be enabled by default, but if not, go ahead and enable it with that toggle. And now let's go back to the home page. Make sure that you are updating your repositories. So do a refresh. And now whenever we search, we can go ahead and search for Omega. And you can see the Omega launcher is going to be there. And just like I showed you with the original F-Droid tutorial I did, you can tap on one of these to get to a app store looking page and install that application directly from there. It looks like we have three different versions of the Omega launcher using this custom repository two being debug early releases and one being the stable and it will actually detect an application that you have installed even though you did not install it from the F-Droid application itself. So that's how we can add custom repositories to the F-Droid application. That will go on to unlock access to newer and different applications and games in the F-Droid repository.